Hi, welcome to Lakshmi's study now. Today our topic is abbreviations in the abbreviations will be given in your examinations. So it is very very important question for your examination. If you watch this video carefully, you will definitely get one mark from this video. So what are the learning concepts in this video? It is abbreviations, expanded forms of the abbreviation and explain notion of expanded forms, definition, if some of the abbreviations they have uh, some importance also there so it will be explained in this video so first of all atp so the full form of atp is a adenosine triphosphate so adenosine triphosphate the adenosine bind with three tri three phosphate molecules so that's why it will be called as a adenosine triphosphate so already we have learnt the energy will be released in the respiration the releasing energy will be stored in the mitochondria in the form of ATP. That means energy will be stored in phosphate molecules. The next one is a NADPH, nicotinamide adenosine dinucleotide phosphate. So ATP and NADPH both can trap the light energy. So they are called as a assimilatory powers. Next, ADP is a adenosine diphosphate. It contains two phosphate molecules. Next, the full form of RUBP, ribulose 1 by 1 5 biphosphate. BP is a blood pressure. The adult normal blood pressure is a 120 by 80. So, 120 denotes systolic pressure, 80 denotes diastolic pressure. So, this is the BP. So, next slide PCT. The structure of nephron contains two parts, malphysian body and tubular, tubular nephron. So, the tubular part contains two parts, uh, three parts, PCT, Henle's loop and DCT. So, PCT full form is a first or proximal convoluted tubule and the DCT is the second or distal convoluted tubule. Next, ESRD, the full form of ESRD is end stage of renal disease. The complete and irreversible kidney failure is called as a ESRD. Next, CNS, the full form of central nervous system. So, what is central nervous system? The name itself, it gives clues to us. What is central means very, very important. So, what are the important parts in nervous system? Brain and spinal cord are the important parts in central nervous system. Next, PNS. The full form of PNS is peripheral nervous systems. Peripheral nervous system. The nerves arises from the brain will be called as a cranial nerves. The nerves arises from the spinal cord is called as a spinal nerves. Because uh, spinal and cranial nerves that are linked to the brain and spinal cord one end and the muscles to the other end. So next, autonomous nervous system. ANS full form is a autonomous nervous system. Some actions will be under our control. The actions will be called as a voluntary actions. But ANS, so under the autonomous nervous system, all inventory, involuntary actions under worked under the autonomous nervous system like respiration, digestion, transportation of food materials, all these under, under the Con work, control the work of ANS. Next, AIDS. AIDS is a disease which was caused by a HIV virus that is human immunodeficiency virus. So, AIDS full form is a acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. So, next, ART. The full form of ART is a antiretroviral therapy. So, what the ART centers are established by the government the main function of art is to supply medicines to the hiv patients next asha the full form of asha is a accredited social health activist we generally we listen asha workers those, those are the social health workers they create awareness in the society understand symptoms of the aids a so stds the full form of stds is a sexually transmitted diseases so, DNA, the full form of DNA is a deoxyribonucleic acid and the full form of RNA is a ribonucleic acid. So, DNA and RNA are the nucleic acid which were present in the nucleus and DNA is a genetic material which carries the 
uh, which transform the hereditary characters from parents to their young ones. Then DO, dissolved oxygen. That means uh, the pure and the transparent water contains oxygen, minimum oxygen. So the oxygen should be dissolved in the water. It will be called a dissolved oxygen. So BOD, biological oxygen demand. For example, if the crystal pure water gets polluted in the pollutants, the water, uh, the DO in the water, that means dissolved oxygen in the water will be decreased. Whenever the dissolved oxygen, the amount of dissolved oxygen decreases, the BOD will be increased. That means the organisms, microorganisms and organisms present in the water, the demand of the oxygen will be increased. So EDBT, Edelabad Water Reservoir. In your textbook, they gave a case study of the how water gets polluted in the form of Edelabad Water Reservoir. So next, Ikrisat, it is very, very important for abbreviation and we, we can expect the question from two marks also. So what Ikrisat done? So Ikrisat full form is a International Crop Research Institute for the Semi-Arid Tropics. It conducts the agriculture research for rural development and provides technical support for the villages and cost efficient water storage and conservation of the structure conservation structure also next tmc tmc full form is a thousand million cubic feet the water reservoir in the, generally the water stored in the reservoirs so the stored water will be measured by a TMC that means 1000 million cubic feet. Next one MTR the full form is a MTR mountain top removal. So that means the tops of the mountain will be removed in mining process. So this method this method destroy the soil and plants and disturb the animal habitats also. So what is habitat the natural living place of animals will be disturbed. IUCN the International Union for the Conservation of the Nature. The name itself it gives you some clues for us. So International Union means it is a worldwide organization and conservation that means to protect the what it protects its nature will be protects. Nature contains so many animals and plants. So it works to protect wildlife and habitats. So habitats is the natural living place of the animals and as well as the plants also. So monitor the award it can monitor it monitor monitor the status of endangered wildlife, threatened national parks and preserve and other environmental around the world also. The next slide. So FAA, FAO Food and Agriculture Organization and UNDP stands for United Nations Development Program. And here BBF, the first one is see the first one BBF broad bread furrow. So broad bread furrow means before sowing the seeds, generally farmers plowing the field. So the plowing the fields when after plowing the floods, the furrows are there. The furrows should be broader. If that means the furrows should be wider. Whenever the furrows should be in a wider the amount of water will be penetrated more. So, it will retain more, the land retain more water. So, thank you for watching this video. Please like, share, subscribe and click on the bell icon. If you click on the bell icon, you will get, you will get a notification whenever I make a new video.